Okay, I'm just heating the pan with some oil to fry my onions. In goes my onions. All right, so once you've got your onions um, that have browned a bit, you add in a bit of garlic and some chopped coriander. So I've given this about um, maybe a minute because I was rinsing out the plum tomatoes. And now I'm gonna just chuck it in. There we go. And I'm going to make a nice tomato sauce. Um, I'm going to be using these black beans. I'm going to use about four cartons of these. I do not keep the juices in, so I pour it into my trusty colander and wash it out. Okay, so I've got my colander and I'm just running some cold water and I'm emptying out the uh, black beans. I'm just going to check on this. Uh, let's have a look. It's on a very low heat. I usually always cook on a low heat so I can prep and do other things. I don't normally prep first and then cook. I kind of tend to do it all at the same time. So this has just been on a low heat and now the tomatoes are a bit more softer to squish and squash without making a huge mess all over my nice jumper that I'm wearing. Oh, the kids. Yes, yeah, sweetie. Oh God, me like it too. You're too cute. You're too cute. All right, so. I'm gonna cover it again. I'm just gonna cover it again. But before I do, Mama, I'm gonna add... help me, please. Oh, you st okay, hold on one sec. I'm going to add in a tiny bit of water to... Not water. <laughs> Not water, it's water. I did say water. I said water. But okay, thank you, my little three-year-old. So just a little touch I added to help cook those tomato pieces. I'm going to cover it down. I'm going to still leave it on a... Um, on a low so now I'm going to add in my black beans so this is all been washed that's quite a bit actually hmm cool all right and I'm gonna mix that baby up now in terms of the ingredients you can add more coriander you can add in another tomato if you wish it's up to you because you know when it comes down to cooking it's it's your taste buds everyone's got different taste buds and um, you have to adapt to what you like and your flavor but what I do recommend is that you always taste your food when you're about to finish always taste your food guys so you can adjust before it's like too late so I'm gonna cover that and um, before I do just because it is a little dry, I'm just gonna add in a bit more water. I'm just using some hot water from the kettle. Cover that. And it's doing making my rice now. And I'm gonna just add in a little touch of turmeric. Completely optional. A few bits of frozen broccoli. Hi, you right? Yeah, not bad. Um, and optional, a cardamom pod to give it a little fragrance. And we're gonna add my water. You alright? Yeah, I'm not bad, I'm not bad. I used to be there, I used to be there. I used to be talking. What are you doing over there? Are you still on my stuff? Do you have to open the pot? I'm letting it steam. Oh, alright, sorry, no, could you call it? I just forget in a sense. Because um, I've right, hardly got any time. Alright, well, it's gonna be done soon. But the rice is gonna be done in a minute? Yeah, in 10 minutes. Notice that my rice, if you can see, there's like little tiny bubbles appearing. So this indicates it's a good time to close my pot. So I'm just going to give it a good stir. You can add in some butter to avoid sticky, but I don't do that. And um, yeah, give it about eight to ten minutes. I'm now going to just check on my black beans. And I've got it back on a low heat because 
I'm seasoning the corn and washing it and stuff. So whilst I get on with that, I'm just making sure I've got a low heat before it burns. Um, so I'm um, ready to add in my corn. Like I said, I just seasoned it up with a bit of all purpose without the MSG. Alright, so I've just added in my corn and I'm also going to add in some cumin. What time do you got to get back? So, uh, oops, I'm just adding in some Jira. That's probably a generous teaspoon, I think. Uh, again, I, when I cook, it tastes amazing, but I don't really um, measure. I'm not a measuring person. So, yeah, I'm going to give that a good old stir. Add more water if necessary. It's because I had in all purpose seasoning, it's got a lot of salt in that already. I'm going to give it a taste. Sorry, guys, I really find it so hard to concentrate. Um, yeah, so this is not ready, but since I opened the pot, I'm just going to give it a stir. Anyway, you can add salt to this as well, but. I mean, very, very plain and simple, like a usually is. So I'm just going to let the steam finish off this. It's still a bit crunchy. Yeah, I've just completely lost count. So if this happens, you know, this is what you do. Just give it a little stir and give it an extra minute or two. Let's check out the green beans now. It's been going on for a little, maybe a couple minutes. Just checking on my prawns, waiting for them to get nice and pink. What are you doing? Look at my fat head. Mmm, very tasty. It's very nice. Oh, yeah, some of the, the rice. Mm. The uncooked rice. Try it, that's really nice though. I really enjoy it. Does it taste like black beans? It don't taste like black beans. Have you put tomato it does, in it? It does or it does? It does. Did you put tomato in it? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna. Not necessarily. I'm not, uh, I take too much time. So I'm gonna I'll just check this. on these. Yep, that's good to go. Dinner is ready. Dinner is ready. Oh, it's sticking a little bit. Okay, guys, come on, we can eat. So, the prawns don't need um, a long time to cook at all, guys. They don't need to. They don't need long. So, uh, yeah. So I don't need to add any salt then, Anthony. All right, so that salt is basically what you got from the all-purpose seasoning. I used to use the Duns River, um, but then I realized it uses uh, E number six. What, um, Brandon? Baby love? Brandon, sorry to disturb. Boo? Okay, yeah. Brandon, sorry, I know you're reading. Can you tell me what MSG is? What E number that is? E621. E621, thanks babe. All right, so um, yeah, I realized that Duns River have uh, E621, and I realized that's MSG, so I don't use that anymore. So it was in like my first ever video that I did the um, 90 day, ch 90 minutes challenge or something to do free ch meals with the chicken. I don't use that no more. Um, I could show you if you're interested what I do use um, is this all purpose seasoning and I actually buy it from okay, Aldi and this is the ingredients 
So there's not MSG. So this is my go to now. Here. Who am I going to film to show the you eating the black beans? It is quite hot. I'm isn't not going to have any. Straight from the pack. Well, you're eating your spinach and rice, that's good. Yum yum. Anthony. Nice. Around. Really enjoying it. Got a lot of flavour and spice. Put cones around the mm. We need to look for cones. And the rice and the spinach gives it something extra, really nice. Nice texture. Yeah. Each other. Yeah. I just thought to add in a bit of greens there, mm. you know. I ate it all. Mm. I had it with prawns before. Yeah, I ate the prawns. Beans, Bubs. Ethan, can you taste the black beans, please? I taste it already. Can, can I record you doing it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. Mommy, can I have my cake? Tastes good. Mommy, can I have my cake? Yes, I'm going to choose. Sorry? Yes, I'm going to choose. Mm, thumbs up. Yes. Mommy, right, mommy. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye.